Here's a quick overview of uh, what you can do with the uh, Media Center in terms of recording and playing back your live TV, like you have, right, you typically use your DVR for. So if I have recorded programs, I just select recorded programs. Again, I'm controlling this with my remote only. I can scroll over and select whichever program I might happen to watch. And I can either resume or restart it. In this case, I was watching in the middle. I can use the, the buttons to navigate around. Fast forward slowly or rapidly. It's really nice because this is one of the features that the Comcast uh, DVR didn't do very well and this works great with rapidly searching through and finding whatever content you want. I pause it. I can even scroll down here and select a particular part to randomly access any part in the movie. With the I'm using the mouse button here in the remote, which is the, the bottom pad, so that actually comes in really handy um, if you want to select a particular part of the video. If I go back, I can uh, also watch live TV, go to the programming guide, and I see the schedule up here. I want to watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Let's see what's on. And this is in, should be in high def. Not only made it, but doing a great job. The audience helped you out a little bit, got you to $5,000. 10 away from the million, you still have two lifelines left. Are you ready to keep playing? I can bring up a smaller guide and scroll around. Questions for $7, Although she never used it for Switch channels here. Yeah. Something that drivers spend time looking at when their eyes should be on the road. The scenery. The scenery. Notice here how the, uh, the, the program that I'm watching is actually superimposed on the menu, so it's, uh, it's kind of cool. So you can see what you were watching when you browse around in the menu itself. The menu is super fast. As you can see, I can scroll around it just about as fast as I want. Again, this was painfully slow on my uh, Comcast uh, DVR. Not a problem here with the media PC. But, uh, there's also a bunch of internet channels. Um, I haven't really played with this a whole lot just because Hulu Desktop and Boxy and Zinc have a lot of the content that I want. But there is, there is content here and is yet another portal to access a lot of the over-the-top over video that, that is available on the Internet. I think that uh, you'll find that you know, there's no one single app that gets everything that you want. And this is what makes a, a MIDI PC so much more useful for uh, watching uh, Internet video.